Welcome to Crash Magic. Today we're going to look at the card trick matching pair. Now this is a great one to do if you want to involve two spectators at the same time. We're going to start with the performance of the trick and after that we'll do a full tutorial showing exactly how you can learn to do this trick. So we've got two spectators for this trick, spectator one and spectator two. And first thing is if either of you could give the cards a really good shuffle, make sure that they're well and truly mixed. And then apart from a pack of cards, the other thing that we're going to use in this trick is some coins. I've been raiding my piggy bank and here's a load of coins. So in a second I'm going to turn around and I want spectator one if you can just take some of the coins, as many or as few as you want, as long as you leave some for Spectator 2, because I want Spectator 2 then to take the rest of the coins that you uh, leave behind. So Spectator 1, say you take those, Spectator 2 would take the rest, and then you add up your coins, you each add up your own set of coins, and remember that number. Now once you've done that, before I turn back around, just put all the coins together so I've no idea how many coins you've each got and what your number is. So I'll turn away now and if you can do that. So Spectator 1 takes these coins and Spectator 2 takes these coins. So Spectator 1 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and Spectator 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now if the two spectators can put their coins back together and I will turn around. Obviously I've got no idea how many coins you each selected or what your number is. But I'm now going to deal cards from this pack down onto the table one at a time. And I'll count the cards as I do and when you get to your number I want you to remember that card. So if your card was one then I'll count one as we put this card down and you would remember the king of clubs. Okay so I'll start dealing. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, have you both got a card now? You've both got a card to correspond with your number. That's great. Okay. We can put these cards back on top then. So if you remember, the cards were totally shuffled at the start and I've no idea how many coins you picked and so what your number is. I'm just going to take these cards under the table now. I'm going to make a few changes. And now I'm going to deal out some cards onto the table. We'll deal a pile there and then we'll just put the rest of the pack next to it. So next thing we're going to do, Spectator 1, I want you to take the top card from this pile and turn it face up. Spectator 2, I want you to take the top card from this card and turn it face up, both at the same time. And then I both want you to look at the cards that are dealt face up, and if either of the cards on either piles is yours, I want you to shout stop. And then continue on and do the same again with the next card. Again, both turn them at the same time and then shout stop if you see your card. Stop! So you both shouted stop at the same time, so your two cards were the seven of spades and the two of diamonds, and they both come up together. So that was matching pair. You need, of course, a pack of cards, ordinary set of cards, and also some coins, and there's got to be 21. Now, you don't have to use coins, you could use uh, matches or sweets or anything like that, but there's got to be 21. Now, this trick is totally self working and no setup at all so you can allow your spectators to shuffle the cards and then you explain to them that while your back is turned they're each going to take a pile of coins so spectator one will take some coins and then spectator two must take all the other coins you don't make any reference at any point that there's 21 coins and then of course they must add their coins up and that's their number and they've got to remember that number and then once they've done that they must then of course put the coins all back together so that once you turn back around there's no way that uh, that you can know who's picked how many coins or what their numbers are so once they've done that 
you then deal the cards down onto the table one at a time face up and explain to them that they're to remember the card that's at their number so that would be one two three four five six seven eight so that would be the second spectators card nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and that would be that that first spectators card in this case of course we don't know that so we keep counting on an ideal up to twenty cards because you know that at most one of the spectators got twenty coins and the other one got one so twenty should be enough but you just say to them have you both got a card now when you get to twenty you can then just pick the pile up put it straight back on the pack exactly as it is now just as a bit of misdirection I always take the cards under the table or behind my back and say I'm going to adjust the order of the cards I actually don't change them at all and then we just deal 10 cards straight off the top of the pack into one pile and put the rest of the pack down by its side and you explain to the two spectators that they're to turn the top cards over face up at exactly the same time and that if either of their cards, if either of them sees either of their cards in either piles there to shout stop and this is totally self working they will turn both of their cards over at the same time and of course shout stop together well that's the end of this trick if you like it please like it and subscribe if you've got any comments leave them down below and see you soon